Greetings. I hope this video finds you well and prosperous. Check this out. I made a video talking about these truck drivers and vlogging, creating content while on duty. I drove truck for 23 years. I've been retired five years now. I was an owner operator, about shoot, 16 of them years or something like that. With all that comes along with uh, being a truck driver, whether you're a company driver or an owner operator, or a fleet owner, creating content editing videos and all that type of stuff that's crazy you can go watch that video this video is about orientation the new drivers vlogging they think that they have a job because they've been invited to orientation just speaking from uh, my experience the little bit that I know, the dozens and dozens of drivers I've seen go home, some of which I've personally taken to the rental car place bus stations. Orientation does not mean that you have a job. There are hundreds and hundreds of drivers who don't make it through orientation. Because the company is going to take you to the DLT physical. You're going to be sitting there with high blood pressure because you're anxious. You want to get hired, so you're nervous. So everybody is going to be sitting there with high blood pressure, hypertension, until you kind of calm down. So that's going to hold it up. Then the MVR, you're going to check that, see if you got... You know, abandon any trucks and all that type of stuff. Accidents and all that. They're going to probably run you through a hiring agency who's going to do a background check and all that type of stuff. Like what happened at the last job and all that. Road test. Drug screen. You know, all of these things that go on at orientation. Now, drivers are adding making videos and creating content. So I can pretty much guarantee you if they're not doing it now, soon they're going to start doing it. They're going to start checking drivers. They're going to start going to social media to check and see if they have a driver in orientation that vlogs videos. And they're going to watch those videos. I saw one smart driver. He saw that his buddy had got fired. So he said, I'm done vlogging videos while I'm driving truck. He said, I got to make money and take care of my family. That's what it should be about. Making money. That's it. The people out here trying to blend creating content and trucking. You're going to be, you're going to get burnt out so fast. It's, man, people, it's, it's, it's a bunch of new people and a few older people vlogging, trying to make it, you know, make it more than what it is. It might be a couple of them that uh, they, they telling the real truth about the trucking game. And they're sitting there telling the truth about the trucking game probably because they're out of it. Because while you in the trucking game, you're going to have so much going on you going to be thinking about recording videos. If you serious, you know what I'm saying? If you're serious about, listen, man, I got to pick this stuff up. I got to get it there on time. I got to deliver it. Trust me. All that stuff is working in your head. 
So yeah, I had to come back at it because uh, some people comment, "Oh, you're just hating because people are getting views, thousands of drivers making videos and all that type of stuff." <laughs> uh, millions and millions of truck drivers, and some individuals are like impressed with these few, this low percentage of drivers that are making content. I'm bringing you the real. I've had several trucks. Paid them off. Sold them. Buy another one. Lease purchase. Pay it off. Listen, man. When you in that game of trucking, you, it, it, a lot of them, they be laughing and playing. That laughing and playing going to go away. Oh, yeah, I'm be turned up at the truck stop. No, you're not. You're going to be at that truck stop. Like, man, I need something to relieve my stress. I need to rest. I need to get a shower. Oh, tonight I'm going to skip the shower. I just want to get something to eat and lay down. Then add in what's going on in your personal life back home. So many variables. Orientation is not you getting a job. Orientation is another step towards getting hired. Still some hoops to jump through when you get to orientation. Know that if you are looking to get in the trucking business, get your, get your CDL and all of that, Go and get your CDL and get the experience so that you will know the actual real. And you're not just going by internet people who is doing it for the views and think it's cool because they can record it. That is an amazing journey. The amazing journey is when it's behind you and you can talk about it with experience. That real-time thing. You have too much to learn. You have too much to learn. There's too many responsibilities. I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all have an amazing day. Peace.